Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about two issues. We got the James Franco uh, subpoena, which has been a reissue, like we said, about Elon Musk. But we've also got that she has actually put in a request for Johnny Depp to have a mental examination, which, okay, you know, fair enough. You know, but it's just interesting because she's the one who, you know, who says, I'm not taking the test, this, that, and the other. So this is what we got. This is the first thing. So we got the Circuit Court of Fairfax County, Friday Motions Day, you know, response, opposition to motion, title of motion, motion to compel examination of Depp. They want Johnny to take a uh, mental health exam, which is fair enough, but it's really interesting to see because Johnny put this in before her. It's almost like she wants, oh, I'm going to copy him. Because obviously, everything that he has had, she has done. And we've also got that from old assistants and ex-assistants, where, you know, they're like, oh yeah, I started working for her. It was a nice house she had. But then, when I went to Johnny Depp's house for the first time, I saw him. I started noticing things. You know, they had the same this, the same that. She even started dressing like him, which is kind of freaky, to be honest with you. But then, you know, she was like, oh, I want an old typewriter. She got rid of all her books. She wanted hardbacks. She wanted first editions. All at Johnny Depp's expense, because he's the one who bought them for her. So this didn't surprise me that she would put in a motion to have him be examined. Because, well, we all know she's just nuts as it is. And Johnny Depp would be like, yeah, whatever, I'll do it. But then we go into the James Franco situation. James Franco, he has been reissued the subpoena because obviously we have these photos here which show that he was in the elevator, in the private elevator that is, going up to Johnny Depp's floor, which Johnny Depp's floor, he owns all the apartments. And when she's like, oh yeah, he lived there, he lived there. No, he didn't. There's no reason for him to get off on that floor unless they are just friends. They are just talking, but things have happened. But this is what we got for the subpoena for James Franco. So request number one is all documents or communications between that you reviewed and or relied upon in preparation for your deposition. Request number two, all communications concerning your visit to her at any time at the Eastern Columbia building located at this address Request number three, all communications between you two between May 20th, 2016 and June 15th, 2016. All documents reflecting your in-person interactions with her at or near May 22nd, 2016. Because obviously this is the, you know, the time frame of when her face was supposedly unrecognisable to people. Even though she went to... Uh, the courthouse got a restraining order with painted on bruises. The following day, she's laughing her ass off, walking down the street, nothing on her face. That's what we got by there. All documents reflecting your in-person interactions with her at or near May 27th, 2016, when she obtained the temporary restraining order against Mr. Depp. Request number six, all documents concerning her DA allegations against Mr. Depp. Then request number seven, by and in between you and her concerning her allegations against Mr. Depp. Basically, did she tell you or speak to you regarding what has happened? Because to be honest with you, if she did have all that stuff, she he would be asking questions like what happened, you know, how, how's this happened or how's that happened? But obviously, with Mr. Franco, he's a bit of a horrible boy at that because... This year, he had to shell out $2.2 million in a settlement, out of court, by the way, regarding people who has accused him of doing really horrible things. And we've always talked about projection and the people who commit those horrible things, that they always stick together. It's always, you know, those groups that roam around together. And when you think of it as, oh, those people, they stick together. A.H. is uh, one of her friends and one of her, you know, best lawyers, Roberta Kaplan. The person who said we can't go down to Virginia because of gas prices, which still blows my mind. Because you're a high-powered lawyer, you got a bit of money, gas prices ain't gonna mean shit to you. <laughs> but, uh, obviously, then you have uh, her supporting and actually representing and defending Mr. H.W., 
We're not going to say his full name because it would actually get this video demonetized. Because for some unknown reason, YouTube doesn't like his name. And I understand why at that point. But when they start demonetizing videos for certain things, it's like, come on. I've seen videos which show horrible things and there's adverts on them. But this is what we got regarding James Franco. Obviously, the surveillance video shows him and her one day after the big blowout with Johnny Depp. And obviously, it's from the blast we got them to. You can see it's always him because obviously the same hat, same uh, shirt and the same backpack because he was actually doing a book signing in the area. But when you think of it and you see this and, uh, you know, just say there, at one point she's seen moving backwards towards him, keeping her face away from the camera and moving close as she appears to be speaking with him while he keeps his head down. And you got, uh, which I think is one of the best things of it, is uh, Johnny Depp's uh, attorney, Adam Waldman. We are interested in James Franco and Elon Musk as fact witnesses because we have evidence. These are the men who saw her face in the days and nights between when she claimed Mr. Depp did this on May 21st and when she went to the court were painted on bruises to obtain the temporary restraining order on May 27th. Which again, you have this uh, photo the day after she went to the restraining order. And there's nothing on her face. So that is one of the interesting things for me. Because I, I do. I think that is absolutely hysterical. Because maybe she went home. Maybe she washed. And she was like, oh, it doesn't matter now. I've got the restraining order. People go, you know, the pap's got all their photos. It's in all the news magazines. It's in the you know, National Enquirer. It's everywhere now. They all know. But bruises last for a while. You know, I've... Uh, I've had black eyes, I've had broken noses and everything, and they stay with you for a long time, you know? Especially if you get smashed in the face, all by here swells up, your eyes go up. And when she said that she had a broken nose, she had a bad lip, it was all this, there's no amount of makeup that is that good. Her lipstick is not that good. Let's just leave it at that. But that's what we got today, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.